Well, uh, for more business reaction to what uh, the Obama president presidency will mean, we're joined from New York by Professor Nicholas Economides from the Stern School of Business and from Brussels by Dirk van de Gem, who is the Director of International Affairs at Euro Chambers, the Association of European Chambers of Commerce and Industry. Welcome to you both. Uh, let's go to New York first. This is a fairly toxic economic legacy, isn't it? Well, it's a, it's a disaster. I mean, it's, it's something that uh, has been dealt with to some extent, but it's still continuing and very unpredictable. And uh, it hasn't really been worked out yet. We, lots of things need to be done. A European perspective, um, Nancy Pelosi, it appears, has already indicated that she believes that a, a further injection of cash needs to be uh, made in to, to boost the credit crisis that we're seeing or to boost uh, the, the solution to the credit crisis. Do you think Europe would like to see that under the heading of uh, cooperation? Well, I think it's very important for the world recession to have an additional stimulus package. Uh, in the United States, there is talk of a stimulus package of the order of 125, maybe 150 billion, uh, all the way to 200 billion. Um, and it might be useful to have uh, such packages elsewhere as well. Okay, let's turn to Brussels. And this might, and this, and this I, actually, let me, let me finish on, the, on this. I mean, this might actually happen before the Obama inauguration, before January. Okay, let's turn now to the European reaction. From a European perspective, it is of paramount importance, of course, that the U.S. economy gets back on its feet as fast as possible, isn't it? Dirk. I mean, if you just um, consider that the um, EU-US economy together accounts for about 60% of global, global GDP, um, if you consider that um, between the EU and US together we are uh, generating about 14 million jobs just in trading and investing among each other, it's obviously essential that um, this, this transatlantic economy is, um, is, 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 is vibrating, is doing well, and um, that's essential, yes. One might imagine that actually now an Obama presidency might mean a convergence of economic policy between the U.S. and <coughs> Europe. Do you imagine that happening? Um, well, I mean, towards the new elected president, I mean, it's, it's clear that there is a, there's basically mixed feelings, I would say, uh, from a European business perspective. Um, on the one hand, of course, there's a lot of sympathy for the way he's been developing his campaign, um, the way he's been showing uh, leadership. Uh, and I think we all agree that um, in the U.S. we can, we can certainly use um, some good leadership there. On the other hand, there is um, uh, quite some concern um, among European businesses about his stance on trade, um, on, on the way he wants to protect uh, jobs in the United States. Um, there is a bit of concern there to what extent the, um, the, the rhetoric that has been used during the campaign will be effectively put in practice. Yeah, that is indeed a concern. Let's uh, turn to the wider economy and back to New York if we can and ask when he has spent, or more particularly when the Bush administration has finished spending on sorting out this credit crisis, there isn't going to be a lot of money left to deliver on schools and um, on the healthcare system as he would like. Well, this is a concern, of course, but uh, there is uh, not too much you can do about not dealing with the financial crisis. This is a, a, a once in a generation, maybe in a once in a century uh, crisis. Uh, we really have to deal with it any, and throw at it any, everything we have. And once it's kind of wrapped up, hopefully in nine months or so, then things can be stabilized. We can have uh, some uh, withdrawal of the special funds that have been put in the financial system and have extra money for all the other stuff. But the first order of business is to deal with the financial crisis and uh, to deal with the recession. Um, these things cannot um, be um, kept waiting. And Professor, just staying with you for a moment, do you accept that from a European perspective the big concern is that the U.S. will become uh, more protectionist? Well, I can see people being concerned about it, but I don't think they should be. Uh, I think that the Obama administration uh, is likely to uh, have a very open mind. Uh, they really do believe, Obama does really believe in uh, free trade. Uh, it's just that he wants other countries to be equally open 
as the U.S. in terms of allowing American goods to be sold in those countries. And uh, there have been protectionist uh, positions in many countries, mm. so it's important for the, this to be balanced, to have free trade in both uh, directions. I, I, don't, I don't expect uh, that there will be restrictions in uh, imports of goods in the United States from other countries. Uh, just to you back in Brussels, um, from a European perspective, again, as I've said, it's important that the U.S. economy gets going as fast as possible. Is the dollar also a worry if it's a barometer of uh, Obama's competence? Mm. Is it a concern? Sorry, the dollar? The uh, is the, is the, is the uh, value of the dollar a concern? Um, of course it is. I mean, uh, again, looking at the, the trading figures uh, between you, you and U.S., um, there's, there's a, the impact of the dollar is, 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 is important. Um, at the same time, that is not something we as Europeans can do much to about it. This is very much a matter of, um, of, uh, of American policies. Um, but obviously, a, a, a stable currency is something that, that for, for European ex exporters' perspective, is uh, what most of us would, uh, would like to see, see happening. More Dirk stability Vantig in the currency exchange. Yeah. Dirk Van Tegem and Professor Nicholas Economides, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's take a look at what's been happening on the markets. It is interesting to note that the Dow, although, as you can see, there's a rather large clear-up after the party that we've seen in the last few days, it has actually, not the Dow particularly, but the S&P 500, has actually made a gain of just about 18% between October the 27th and Election Day. As you can see, a sell-off, which is simply a sell-off on the news, is also extending to Europe as well. Uh, worth saying on the Asian markets that we did actually see a stronger performance. Um, that was spoiled, that particular party by a bad performance on the Indian market which was actually down quite sharply and a couple of uh, big fallers there Reliance and also Tata. Worth saying also that commodities are coming back um, in a big way. We've seen them ease off quite substantially um, with movements in the dollar but that appears to be reversing now and we're seeing uh, those inflation worries and the concern about the economic malaise coming back into the markets. Well that's a look at how the business world is reacting to the news. Let's now go back to Nick. Thanks Tanya.